Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nucci, and today we're gonna be doing a Q&A. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below any more questions you may have, anything I didn't get to answer, and yeah, let's just get into the video. I asked you guys some questions on Instagram to see if you guys had any questions that you wanted to know about me so I could answer for you guys in this video, so. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna be reading off my phone, so if you guys see me looking down, that's what I'm doing, okay? All right, first question. Where are you from? So, I am from Massachusetts. I live in Massachusetts. Everybody calls it Boston, if you don't know where Massachusetts is. Um, I was born and raised here. I've lived a couple of different places. I've lived in Florida before, but I was mostly born and raised in Massachusetts. And my family is from Haiti. I'm Haitian. Okay, um, other little stuff, but Haitian, nonetheless, I'm Haitian. I was raised Haitian, so that's what I am. Next question, what's your type? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm assuming that you mean dating, and I just like big guys. I like big guys, I'm a pretty big girl. I'm 5'10", I'm thick and curvy, so I like big guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, tall, solid men, yeah. What would you say is the biggest misconception people usually have about you? And I would definitely say that people think that I am mean or rude or, you know, bougie or, you know, that kind of thing. I am nothing like that. I'm actually really nice. I'm actually really friendly and polite. I never disrespect people. Um, I'm actually very sensitive. And everybody that I know now says, like, when they first met me, they thought I was a bitch, so... I would say that's probably the biggest misconception about me is that like I am a bitch. Um, another one is probably the fact that like um, I'm cocky or something like that. I don't know. I know that I seem like I, you know, I'm really confident and um, I may come off cocky sometimes, but really I just love myself. I just love myself. I have insecurities just like everybody else, so. Um, I'm definitely not cocky because I don't think I'm the best thing that ever happened to the world, but I am confident, I guess. What is your favorite food slash snack? So I'm not really like a foodie to be honest with you. I'm more of a drink person. I like to drink like whether it be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. I like to drink so I'm not really a foodie. I'm not, I don't have a big appetite, but I do love shrimp, although I don't like seafood. I know it's weird, but I love shrimp and chicken. Like, I love chicken. Like, chicken is my thing. Like, I did a vegan um, cleanse um, a couple of times, and that's the thing I miss the most, chicken. So, maybe I'll go with chicken, yeah. Chicken's my favorite food. When are you coming to Toronto, Canada? My dad promised to take me to Canada, like, 30,000 times, because, um, yeah, that's where his family's from, but... It's never happened, so I don't know. We'll see. One day. I don't know. Do I smoke? No. I've never smoked anything. Like, I've tried to smoke hookah. It doesn't work. I've never smoked weed. I don't smoke. I'm not a smoker. No, I don't smoke anything. How are you doing? I'm doing decent. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Some things here and there, but for the most part, I'm doing okay. When are you coming to Atlanta so I can take you for a ride in my coupe? Probably never because I hate Atlanta. <laughs> um, I don't like Atlanta. I feel like um, people there aren't like Boston people. People there are kind of bougie and mean and it just doesn't fit my personality. I like the food. I like some people that are from there, but I don't like Atlanta. Like if I had to pick a place to go, it would not be Atlanta. But I'd probably be there again. Like, for some reason I find myself there, but I don't like Atlanta. Sorry, sorry. How should a man approach you in public without getting rejected? Honestly, um, I have a really, 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 really huge sense of humor. If you approach me with a joke, nine times out of ten, I'm going to speak to you. And then you get to shoot your shot. Like, I really like jokes, you know? Compliments don't really work, like, because people could just be saying things just to try to get you to talk to them or whatever. So compliments don't really work. Like, if you approach me with a joke, you approach me with, like, a little funny, you know, sly comment or something, that's most likely going to get my attention. Um, yeah, 
so and I like bosses so if you walk in like you own the room you probably already have my attention are you single yes I'm single I'm single AF I'm single how tall are you I'm five foot ten yeah I'm tall I'm tall guys yeah I, some people say I look short in my pictures but I'm five ten your shape is incredible do you work out or diet all right so honestly no I don't um I don't work out I don't I do diet kind of like I don't regularly diet but I do cleanses and I do eat try my best to eat right um I do have natural curves from like you know genetics um my body's not fake um and I've always had a flat stomach to be honest with you um it got flatter as I got older of course changing what I eat but yeah I don't diet or exercise I'm not like Slim. I don't look like I work out, I don't think so. Yeah, there's that. Hablas Espanol. Yes, I do. I actually do. Um, I don't speak it like fluently anymore. Like, I'm not the best anymore. I was in honor Spanish in high school. I took Spanish all four years of high school. So I was really good at it, but I haven't really practiced it. I'm starting to do Portuguese more now because of my patience. I am a nurse, if you guys don't know. So, um, yeah, so I can understand it, but I don't really speak Spanish, unfortunately. Does age matter when you're dating someone or does the state of mind? All right, so here's my rule of thumb. If you're younger than my little sister, I can't date you. If you're older than my older sister, it depends. So my older sister is three years older than me. I'm 26. She's going to be 30. Um, she's 29. So like... And my little sister, she's 22. So, like, if you're younger than 22, you're completely off limits. Even 22 is pushing it. Like, it's really young. And guys that age have young, you know, state of mind. Anyway, Sorry, guys. My camera got off. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, as long as you're not younger than my little sister, that's fine. And if you're older than my older sister, it depends. If you're youthful, like, what do you like? Because... I'm like a big kid, so I can't date a grown man that's like really serious, has children my age, like I just, it wouldn't work for me. You wouldn't like me anyway. All right, somebody said, why do you bleach your skin? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but is this a joke? Like, <laughs> okay, this is why I wanted to do the assumptions about me post. I do not bleach my skin. I don't know where that's coming from. Like, I have like 12 different shades of brown on me. That's just how my body's always been. Like, my hands are darker. My face is kind of like in between. My chest is lighter, but my arms and shoulders are darker. Like, I just, like, I tan very easily. Like, if something hits the sun, it's going to get tan, like, that second. So... I don't know, my body's just always been like that. So I don't know why people are like, I don't know why someone would think I bleach. I think I would look very weird if I bleached my skin. So that's your answer. I don't bleach my skin. Yeah, that was a, that was a first. No, 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 that was the second actually. That was the second time someone has said that to me. So yeah, I just thought that was really funny. Do you have a middle name? I do, it begins with the F, but I'm not gonna put it on here. Yeah, but I do have a middle name. Who is your best friend? My sisters are my best friends. They are my secret keepers. They are my confidants. We fight, they piss me off, but they're my best friends. Like, if I had to say who my best friends are, it's them. If you could do it all over again, but as someone else, who would you be? Nobody, I would be me. I would definitely go back and redo certain things because I feel like I gave up a lot of opportunities. I made a lot of mistakes that were just dumb mistakes that I knew were mistakes, but I just had to see for myself so I would definitely go back but I would go back as myself again how much do you weigh more than you think if you were on a desert island and could only take three men with you who would they be um, my nephew um, my brother-in-law and my uncle Fritzner I love him those are the three men that I would take because me and my brother-in-law are like two peas in a pod. We always joke around, so we have the same personality. So we have a great time. My nephew, I'm obsessed with him. And my uncle, because he's the best. What is your favorite lip color? I'm nude. I love nude. Nude. Nude or lip gloss. That's my thing. 
What if you're 35 and still not in a serious relationship? Is there a plan B? Hell yeah, there's a plan B. Adopt. Um, go to a sperm bank, have a baby if you want children. These are the options if you want children. Or go on a dating website, get yourself out there. I feel like everybody could definitely find somebody. You might have to change where you're looking and change like um, your approach. Like you might have standards and think that someone doesn't meet them, but you have to get to know people to know if they really meet your standards, honestly, because you never know, you know what I mean? Don't prejudge, that, that's the best advice I could give. Who is Nushi X2, the imposter, and why? So, okay, so somebody made a fake Instagram account, and um, my Instagram name is Nushi X3, and they put Nushi X2. So I think they're just trying to be like imposters and like get some followers. I don't know. But X3 is actually a heart symbol that came from like back in the day, MySpace days when we didn't have emojis. So the X2 doesn't really make much sense. I don't know if everybody knows that, but yeah. There's that. What does Nushi X3 signify? That I basically just said it. Nushi is actually my nickname given to me by my grandmother that passed away. So um, that's the name that I use. Nushi is the nickname that I prefer. And X3 is just a heart. I can hear you guys very loud, especially Elijah. No one's yelling. No, but I can, it's very loud. And I'm trying to record. No, can you whisper? When are you doing a collab video? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I tried to do it with my sister, but I didn't really like how it came out. Um, like, we did one on her channel, but I didn't like how it came out on my channel. So, I'm gonna have to redo that one. Probably soon, though. Nobody ever wants to record with me, so I don't know. How tall are you? I said this earlier, I'm 5'10". Are you proud to be Haitian? Did you visit Haiti? I'm very proud to be Haitian. I'm so proud to come from somewhere that is so beautiful with such beautiful people and an amazing culture. Um, I've never been to Haiti, honestly. Um, my mom never took me. And now that I finally have a passport, I probably go. Um, Cause my mom never went back. So this that's, it's a whole long story. So, but she finally did go back and now she wants to bring us. So I'll probably go soon. I'm very proud to be Haitian. Do I ever get sick of explaining why I'm doing better than everybody else? I'm definitely not doing better than everybody else, so I don't know where that's coming from. Um, but no, I guess. What is an ideal first date? Um, an ideal first date would be going to an arcade, hanging out, having a good time, laughs. I love to laugh. I love to play. I'm a big kid, so yeah, I like hanging out. Like. That's an ideal first date for me. Having fun, lots of laughs, um, drinks. That's my ideal first date. What age do you want to be married? So this is kind of tricky because my age that I always wanted to be married was 25. And now I'm 26, turning 27. So I just like to be married by 30. Um, I don't have a significant other. It's hard out there, yo. It's hard. But um, yeah, ideally by 30. If not... I'll take whatever God has planned for me. I know that my God got me. He always got me, so I'm not worried. What is a good way of getting past a bad breakup? My way of getting past a bad breakup is definitely to cut them off. Like, I completely cut off. I block you, block your number. I don't go to the places I know you're gonna be. I don't speak to your friends. I completely cut you out. It's kind of like a detox, and then after a few months, I slowly allow you back in. I'll unblock you but not friend request you. I'll start going places I wanna go, whether you're gonna be there or not, and slowly like let you back into my world but not into my life. And that's really how I get over things, to be honest with you. Um, I find that cutting things off cold turkey is my best method. Cause I'm an out of sight, out of mind type of person, to be honest with you. Like if I don't see you, I'm not gonna think about you. So yeah, that's why it works for me. <laughs> What would it take for you to date a guy shorter than you? LOL. Um, honestly, personality. I have to get to know you. We have to start off as friends because I'm not naturally attracted to somebody who is shorter than me. What is your favorite place? My favorite place is the beach. 
favorite hands down i love the beach i love to be by the water i love the sun hitting my skin i like to be half naked on the beach like that is my favorite place to be if i could just be at a beach every single day all day i would be the happiest person in the world but yeah i don't like to be too hot but the beach has like a nice breeze so like it's just a perfect place for me like it's perfect who does your hair i do my hair where did you learn to make clothes I am self-taught. Um, I used to always adjust my clothing. I used to always like tweak little things here and there. I'm tall and thick, so my clothes always kind of fit wrong and I had to kind of adjust to make them fit right. So yeah, from that, I kind of got an idea of how to make my own clothes. And one day I just bought a sewing machine and some fabric and made an outfit, to be honest with you. Um, I can draw and stuff, so like I think I'm just a creative person in general. I taught myself how to do hair, I can draw, I write, so I do makeup. It just kind of all ties in together. I'm just creative. What is your real name? My real name is Manushka, M-A-N-O-U-S-H-K-A. That is my real name, Manushka. Um, it's Russian, but Haitian, it's a common Haitian name, but it's spelled in a Russian way. Um, yeah, my aunt named me, my aunt and my dad kind of put their heads together and named me, so yeah. Can I book you? Um, for what? Do I speak Creole? Yes, I do speak Creole. I understand everything. I can speak it. I might sound American, but I can definitely speak Creole. Have you ever dated someone who was six foot seven? Yeah, actually, I've dated someone who was seven feet before. And last one, you are a beautiful black queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for contributing by asking me questions. I appreciate the support. I got to 20K. I think I'm at like 27K on Instagram. So that means the world to me. I'm really trying to grow my platform to sell my clothing. Um, so I really appreciate you guys so much. You don't even know. I really, really try hard. And I can see my um, hard work paying off. So yeah um thank you guys so much for watching comment rate subscribe share the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye